we want to look at the role that information system plays in an organization. What are the roles that information system plays in an organization? It helps to support customer interactions. So we are looking at six of them. It helps to support customer interaction. And being conscious of the fact that every business is just customers. You are all out there as a business to provide service, to create value and deliver value to someone else or to some other entities. So the ability for you to interact, and when we're talking about interaction here, we're talking about productive, effective, efficient interaction that is understanding what the customer is saying and is responding adequately to it to customer satisfaction. Also, information systems help us to make decisions. In fact, the quality of decisions we we'll make is determined by the depth of information system tools that we have and the capabilities of what those information systems do can deliver. Some people have information technology devices, computing devices available to them, but they have little or no understanding of the capacity and the capabilities of what those tools can do to themselves personally and even to their business. So information systems help us to understand all this. Again, it helps us to collaborate. As an individual, there's a little we can do. But when we work in teams, we work in different clusters, arranged, well-structured to deliver value, we will get more. Together, we achieve more. And information systems help us to do this. Information system help us to manage operations. A whole lot of organizations are bottled down by bottlenecks as a result of operational issues. But when operational issues are put off clearly, well split, spelled out, well aligned, when disruptions are made up for, and at different points, those disruptions, whatever can cause disruption, are planned for. I mean, well laid out operational processes with information technology, manager operations, no matter how complex it seems, become easier. Not only that, we can't do everything as a team if the individual is not organized and productive. And information systems help us to do that. The multiplier and combined effect of all these for individuals and the organization help us to gain competitive advantage. That is a major, major, major word. It's a major, major factor for every business. Apart from productivity in the industry, in the sector that each business uh, operates, Gaining competitive advantage is a major aspiration, as it something that gives you an edge over others. Because almost all industries have a whole lot of great brains thinking, operating there. But as many as there might be, let there be one, two, three things that stand you out as a business. And that is your own edge. That is your own unique selling proposition. That is what differentiates and distinguish you from others. And a good understanding of information system helps in doing all that. A good understanding of information system helps in doing all that. Now, having said all of this, of what information system help us to do. We've talked about competitive advantage. We talk about uh, helping for individual productivity. What is the nature of information system? Here we need to understand what data is, what information is, what information that is processed is, what information that is not processed is. Today we are in the world of big data. A whole lot of information are flying up, up, up and down. But again, if we're not very careful, we'll be lost in the world of so many information. Now, from the foundation, 
let me say this, that computing profession is a binary driven profession. Everything in computing boils down to zeros and ones. So if your computer is talking to you in Japanese language, in Indian language, in any form of English language or any African or Arabic language, there are a whole lot of interpretations that comes in between. The bottom line is the only language the computer understands, which we call the machine language in the IT profession, is binary, and which is basically zeros and one. Now, data, as we call it, and let me correct this here, there is nothing called data, because I've heard a whole lot of people in different languages talk about data. The word data is already pluralized. The singular form of data is data. So, data is foundation. And what is the data? Data are facts, undisputed facts about a process, about an entity, about an object, etc. But when you get data, the way data is collected, the way data happened, because almost every activity that happens, there could be an intentional act to make sure that those activities are recorded. That is what we we'll call the, it is, it is natural occurrence. It's natural order. When data happens and collected, it's not structured. It is not structured. For you to bring meaning out of data, you have to structure it. You have to perform some work on it. And those work is what we refer to as processing. Those processing activity could, could mean collation, rearrangement, sorting, saving the ones that you don't want from the ones that you want, categorizing. When each of these activities, either one or combination of these activities are performed on data in its raw form, we say such data has been processed. And because it's been processed, it can provide information, it can provide some value of meaning, it can provide some value of, of insight. So what makes information valuable? What makes information valuable? Information is valuable when it's, it's delivered on time, when you can still use it for what you need it for, and when it is accurate. Distorted data will always give you wrong direction. Distorted data will always create problem. So it has to be accurate. Then it has to be complete so that it provides a holistic view of everything that is needed. So information is valuable when it is timely, when it is accurate, and when it is complete. When it is complete. So information system then involves people, informs technology, informs processes, and it informs data. Information systems then informs people, includes people, technology, processes, and uh, data. It informs people, processes, and uh, data.